Please remain standing for the arrival of Her Honor, the Honorable Judy Foote, Lieutenant Governor of Newfoundland and Labrador, and His Honor, Howard Foote. Please be seated. My name is Krista Quinlan. I am Acting Clerk of the Executive Council and Secretary to Cabinet, and my role today is to officiate the administration of oaths for the Provincial Cabinet. We begin today's ceremony by respectfully acknowledging the province of Newfoundland and Labrador as the ancestral homelands of many diverse populations of Indigenous peoples who have contributed to 9,000 years of history, including the Beothic on the island of Newfoundland. Today, this province is home to diverse populations of Indigenous and other people. We also acknowledge with respect the diverse histories and cultures of the Mi'kmaq, Innu, and Inuit. I now call upon members of Cabinet. As your name is called, please come forward to swear or affirm your oath of allegiance and your oath of office. Uh, first, I'll call Premier Andrew Fury. As Minister for Intergovernmental Affairs. Okay. You need to say a little further, yeah. Feels like we just did this. We I, Andrew John Fury, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law. So help me God. I do further swear that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in the office of Minister of Intergovernmental Affairs. So help me God. Siobhan Cody. I, 
I, Siobhan Cody, do swear that I will faith and true allegiance bear unto Her Most Gracious Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, and to her heirs and successors. I will be true and faithful to her honor, the Honorable Judy M. Foote, and sh as she is commissioned and appointed Lieutenant Governor over the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. I will, in the place and office of Her Majesty's Councillor of the province, well and faithfully serve Her said Majesty and promote the good of Her Majesty's affairs with my best advice and counsel. I will, with my best ability, defend this province from all foreign invasions and intestine insurrections. I will not constance or conceal any plot or seditious speeches against Her said Majesty and her heirs and successors, but I will give speedy notice thereof unto her honor, the Lieutenant Governor, and to, her and to some member of her council. The secret debates of the council I will not reveal, or directly or indirectly all of which I will perform to the utmost of my ability, so help me God. I, Siobhan Cody, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. I do further swear that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in the office of Deputy Premier, Minister of Finance, Minister Responsible for the Public Service Commission, and Minister Responsible for Newfoundland and Labrador Liquor Commission. So help me God. Tom Osborne. Your Honor, as often as I've done this, it's the first time in the garden, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, Tom Osborne, do swear that I will faith and true allegiance bear unto Her Most Gracious Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, and to our heirs and successors. I will be true and faithful to our honor, the Honorable Judy M. Foote, as she is commissioned and appointed Lieutenant Governor over the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. I will, in place and office of Her Majesty's Council of the province, well and faithfully serve Her said Majesty and promote the good of Her Majesty's affairs with the best advice and counsel. I will, with the best ability, defend the province from all foreign invasions and intestine insurrections. I will not countenance or conceal any plot or seditious speeches against her said majesty, her heirs or successors, but I will give speedy notice thereof unto her honor the lieutenant governor or some member of her council. The secret debates of the council I will not reveal directly or indirectly, all of which I will perform to the, mo to the utmost of my ability, so help me God. I, Tom Osborne, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law, so help me God. I do further swear that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, in the office of Minister of Education, so help me God.
Andrew Parsons. I, Andrew Parsons, do swear that I will faith and true allegiance bear unto her most gracious majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, and to her heirs and successors. I will be true and faithful to her honor, the Honorable Judy M. Foote, as she has commissioned and appointed Lieutenant Governor over the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. I will, in the place and office of Her Majesty's Counselor of the province, well and faithfully serve Her said Majesty, and promote the good of Her Majesty's affairs with my best advice and counsel. I will, with my best ability, defend this province from all foreign invasions and intestine insurrections. I will not countenance or conceal any plot or seditious speeches against Her said Majesty and her heirs and successors, but I will give speedy notice thereof unto Her Honor, the Lieutenant Governor, or to some member of her council. The secret debates of the council I will not reveal directly or indirectly, all of which I will perform to the utmost of my ability, so help me God. I, Andrew Parsons, who swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. I do further swear, swear, uh, swear that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in the office of Minister of Industry, Energy and Technology and Attorney General, so help me God. Steve Crocker. I, Steve Crocker, do swear that I will faith and true allegiance bear unto Her Majesty, Most Gracious Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, and her heirs and her successors. I will be true and faithful to Her Honor, the Honorable Judy M. Foote, as she has commissioned and appointed Lieutenant Governor of Newfoundland, of the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. I will, in the place and office of Her Majesty's Council of the province, well and faithfully serve Her said Majesty and promote the good of Her Majesty's affairs with the best advice and counsel. I will, with my best ability, defend this, pro defend this province from all foreign invasions and intestine insurrections. I will not constance or conceal any plot or sedacious speech against Her said Majesty and her heirs and successors. But I will give speedy notice thereof unto, unto her, her Majesty, the Lieutenant Governor, or to some member of her council. The secret bait, the debates of the council I will not reveal directly or indirectly, and all of which I will perform to the utmost of my ability. So help me God. I, Steve Crocker, do swear that I will be fa bear faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. I do further swear that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in the offices of Minister of Justice and Public Safety, President of Treasury Board, and Government House Leader, so help me God. Jerry Byrne. Your Honor. 
sign of, sign of the times. I, Jerry Byrne, do swear that I will faith and true allegiance bear unto her most gracious majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, and to her heirs and successors. I will be true and faithful to her honor, the Honorable Judy M. Foote, as she is commissioned and appointed Lieutenant Governor over the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. I will, in the place and office of Her Majesty's Counselor of the province, well and faithfully serve Her, Majesty, Her said Majesty and promote the good of Her Majesty's affairs with the, my best advice and counsel. I will, with the best, my best ability, defend this province from all foreign invasions and intestine insurrections. I will not countenance or conceal any plot or seditious speeches against Her said Majesty and her heirs and successors, but I will give speedy notice thereof unto her honor, the Lieutenant Governor, or to some member of her council. The secret debates of the council I will not reveal directly or indirectly, all of which I will perform to the utmost of my ability. So help me God. I, Jerry Byrne, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II her heirs and successors according to law. So help me God. I do further swear that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in the office of Minister of Immigration, Skills and Labor, and Minister Responsible for Workplace NL. So help me God. John Hagee. <clears throat> I, John Hagee, do solemnly, sincerely, and truly declare and affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II her heirs and successors according to law. I do further declare and affirm that I will be true and faithful to her honor, the Honorable Judy M. Foote, as she is commissioned and appointed Lieutenant Governor over the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. I will, in the place and office of Her Majesty's Councillor of the province, well and faithfully serve her said Majesty and promote the good of Her Majesty's affairs with my best advice and counsel. I will, with my best ability, defend this province from all foreign invasions and intestine insurrections. I will not countenance or conceal any plot or seditious speeches against her said majesty and her heirs and successors, but I will give speedy notice thereof unto her honour, the Lieutenant Governor, or to some member of her council. The secret debates of the council I will not reveal directly or indirectly, all of which I will perform to the utmost of my ability. I, John Hagee, do solemnly, sincerely, and truly declare and affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law. I do further declare and affirm that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in the office of Minister of Health and Community Services.
Lisa Dempster. Lisa Dempster do swear that I will faith and true allegiance bear unto Her Most Gracious Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and to her heirs and successors. I will be true and faithful to her honor, the Honorable Judy M. Foote, as she is commissioned and appointed Lieutenant Governor over the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. I will, in the place and office of Her Majesty's Councillor of the province, well and faithfully serve her said majesty and promote the good of her majesty's affairs with my best advice and counsel. I will with my best ability defend this province from all foreign invasions and intestine insurrections. I will not countenance or conceal any plot or seditious speeches against her said majesty and her heirs and successors but I will give speedy notice thereof unto her honor, the Lieutenant Governor, or to some member of her council. The secret debates of the council I will not reveal directly or indirectly, all of which I will perform to the utmost of my ability, so help me God. I, Lisa Dempster, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her ears and successors, according to law, so help me God. I do further swear that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in the office of Minister Responsible for Indigenous Affairs and Reconciliation. Minister Responsible for Labrador Affairs, Minister Responsible for the Status of Women, and Deputy Government House Leader. So help me God. Bernard Davis. I, Bernard Davis, do swear that I will faith and true allegiance bear unto our most gracious Queen Elizabeth II and to her heirs and successors. I will be true and faithful to her honor, the Honorable Judy M. Foote as she is commissioned and appointed Lieutenant Governor over the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. I will, in the place and office of Her Majesty's Councillor of the province, well and faithfully serve Her said Majesty and promote the good of Her Majesty's affairs with the best advice and counsel. I will, with my best ability, defend this province from all foreign invasions and intestine insurrections. I will not countenance or conceal any plot or seditious speeches against Her Majesty, her heirs or successors, but I will give speedy notice thereof unto Her Honor, the Lieutenant Governor, or some member of her council. The secret debates of the council I will not reveal directly or indirectly, all of which I will perform to the utmost of my ability, so help me God. I, Bernard Davis, do swear that I will faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. I do further swear that I will well 
will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in the office of Minister of Tourism, Culture, Arts, and Recreation. So help me God. Brian War. I, Brian H. War, do swear that I will faith and true allegiance bear unto Her Most Gracious Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, and to her heirs and successors. I will be true and faithful to Her Honor, the Honorable Judy M. Foote, as she is commissioned and appointed Lieutenant Governor over the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. I will, in the place and office of Her Majesty's Councillor of the province, well and faithfully serve Her said Majesty and promote the good of Her Majesty's affairs with my best advice and counsel. I will, with my best ability, defend this province from all foreign invasions and intestine insurrections. I will not countenance or conceal any plot or seditious speeches against Her Said Majesty and her heirs and successors, but I will give speedy notice thereof unto Her Honor, the Lieutenant Governor, or to some member of her council. The secret debates of the council I will not reveal directly or indirectly, all of which I perform to the utmost of my ability, so help me God. I, Brian H. War, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, to her heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. I do further swear that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in the office of Minister of Children, Seniors and Social Development, Minister Responsible for the Newfoundland and Labrador Housing Corporation, and minister responsible for the status of persons with disabilities, so help me God. Derek Bragg. <clears throat> I, Derek Bragg, do solemnly, sincerely, and truly declare and affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and her heirs and successors according to law. I do further declare and affirm that I will be true and faithful to her honor, the Honorable Judy M. Foote, as she is commissioned and appointed Lieutenant Governor of the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. I will, in the place and office of Her Majesty's Council of the province, will and faithfully serve Her said Majesty and promote the good of Her Majesty's affairs with the best advice and counsel. I will, with the best of my ability, defend this province from all foreign invasions and intestine insurrections. I will not conference or conceal any plot or strategic speeches against 
her said majesty, her heirs and successors, but I will give speedy notice thereof unto her honor the lieutenant governor or some member of her council. The secret debates of council I will not reveal directly or indirectly, all of which I will perform in the utmost of my ability. I, Derek Bragg, do soundly, sincerely, and truly declare and affirm that I will be faithful to and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law. I do further declare and affirm that I will truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in the office of Minister of Transportation and Infrastructure and the Minister Responsible for the Public Procurement Agency. Derek Bennett. I, Derek John Bennett, do swear that I will faith and true allegiance bear unto her most gracious majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, and her heirs and successors. I will be true and faithful to our honor, the Honorable Judy M. Foote, as she has commissioned and appointed Lieutenant Governor over the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. I will, in the place and office of Her Majesty's Council of the province, will and faithfully serve Her, Ma Her said Majesty and promote the good of Her Majesty's affairs with the best advice and counsel. I will, with my best ability, defend the province from foreign invasions and intestine insurrections. I will not countenance or conceal any plot or, or, or serious speeches against her said majesty and her heirs and successor, successors. But I will give speedy notice thereof unto her honored lieutenant governor or some member of her council. The secret debates of the council I will not reveal directly or indirectly, all of which I will perform to the utmost of my ability. So help me God. I, Derek John Bennett, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to her majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, or heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. I do further swear that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in the office of Minister of Environment, Climate Change, and Municipalities, Register General, and Minister Responsible for Multi-Material Stewardship Board, so help me God. Elvis Loveless. Oh, yes, you should. I haven't been doing that. That's fine. For honor. I, Elvis Loveless, do swear that I will faith and true allegiance bear unto Her Most Gracious Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, 
and to her heirs and successors. I will be true and faithful to her honor, the Honorable Judy M. Foote, as she is commissioned and appointed Lieutenant Governor over the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. I will, in the place and office of Her Majesty's Councillor of the province, well and faithfully serve Her said Majesty and promote the good of Her Majesty's affairs with the best advice and counsel. I will, with my best ability, defend this province from all foreign invasions and intestine insurrections. I will not countenance or conceal any plot or seditious speeches against Her said Majesty and her heirs and successors, but I will give speedy notice thereof unto her honor the Lieutenant Governor or the sum member of her council. The secret debates of the council I will not reveal directly or indirectly, all of which I will perform to the utmost of my ability. I, Elvis Lovelace, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law. So help me God. I do further swear that I will, I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in the office of Minister of Fisheries, Forestry and Agriculture. So help me God. Sarah Studley. I, Sarah L. Studley, do swear that I will faith and true allegiance bear unto Her Most Gracious Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, and to her heirs and successors. I will be true and faithful to her honor, the Honorable Judy M. Foote, as she is commissioned and appointed Lieutenant Governor over the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. I will, in the place and office of Her Majesty's Councillor of the province, well and faithfully serve her said Majesty and promote the good of Her Majesty's affairs with my best advice and counsel. I will, with the best of my ability, defend this province from all foreign invasions and intestine insurrections. I will not counter countenance or conceal any plot or seditious speeches against her said majesty and her heirs and successors, but I will give speedy notice thereof unto her honor the lieutenant governor or to some member of her council. The secret debates of the council I will not reveal directly or indirectly, all of which I will perform to the utmost of my ability. So help me God. I, Sarah L. Studley, do swear that I will faith be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. I do further swear that I will well and truly serve Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in the office of Minister of Digital Government and Service Newfoundland and Labrador, Minister responsible for the office of the Chief Information Officer, and Minister responsible for Francophone Affairs, so help me God.
I now call upon Her Honor, the Honorable Judy Foote, Lieutenant Governor of Newfoundland and Labrador, to address the gathering. Thank you. A repeat performance here. Premier Fury, Dr. Allison Fury, members of Cabinet, and all invited guests, welcome to the grounds of Government House. These grounds belong to the people of Newfoundland and Labrador. Today a new chapter begins in the life of our province. This morning I had the honour of swearing in Premier Fury. This afternoon it was an honour to swear in each of you as members of his cabinet. Forging ahead in this place we love and are fortunate to call home no matter what our role, we do so always wanting the best for our province and its people. So today we do so under the leadership of a new Premier, with your support as his cabinet and a dedicated public service. Leaders are expected to, despite, to lead despite the circumstances. Some come into office under better circumstances than others. Whatever the challenges, the responsibility to lead in good and not so good times requires teamwork among all who understand that it is the only way, it is the only way to advance our province, especially in trying times. The departments you lead have the opportunity to embrace the challenges our, our province is facing and help take it in a direction which will see our province rebound where we need to and see it continue to prosper in those areas where we continue to prosper. As I follow what is happening in business throughout our province, we cannot be anything but impressed with many of our businesses, but especially in the IT sector, particularly those which have garnered national and international attention. This morning I mentioned that I have been speaking with Carl Kenny, CEO of Kraken Robotics. The company has just been ranked number four in the world as a marine technology company. The social enterprise sector in Newfoundland and Labrador deserves attention if the province is to advance for everyone, including the most vulnerable among us. When I hear stories about how the most vulnerable are weathering the pandemic or not, it is obvious we all have a responsibility to be involved and show leadership. I also look at what is happening to our artistic community. And we all know that it is that community that helps us preserve our culture and they entertain us. And we all know as well that they make a livelihood from being able to be publicly engaged, to be able to perform and of course they've been impacted negatively by COVID-19 as well, just as many others have. But I do know that the artistic community is hurting. Leadership in our province should not be left entirely to those in elected office, but to all who believe they have something to offer if our province is to progress. And while we are large in land mass, we are small in population with many incredible leaders whose ideas warrant consideration as we grapple with difficult decisions that impact us all. This morning, I offer the support of my nonpartisan apolitical office to Premier Fury. As Lieutenant Governor, I have the responsibility to ensure Newfoundland and Labrador always has a Premier, acts on the advice of the Premier, but also has a right to advise, encourage, and warn. May God speed you under the direction of Premier Fury in your deliberations and your decisions on behalf of the people of Newfoundland and Labrador. Thank you, Your Honour. I now call upon uh, the Premier to address the gathering. Well, thank you. Uh, first off, I'd once again like to acknowledge and show full respect that today we meet here on the ancestral lands of the diverse Indigenous peoples of Newfoundland and Labrador. Who is the team? That's a question I've asked many times before so many surgeries that I've lost count. Because any surgeon, no matter how good they are, is, will tell you the same thing. It's you're only as good 
as that single team. Stepping inside the Confederation Building last week was an emotional moment for me. It was very much like being handed a share of the rope to help pull giant rocks forward. But I was look, I looked, as I looked around, I was struck by the commitment and drive in the faces of everyone in that room. This is the team, I thought. I feel the exact same way here today. I look around this tent, and I know that these are the faces of the change makers. These are the faces around the circle that will make the hard decisions, but more importantly, will generate the ideas that will help redefine Newfoundland and Labrador now and into the future. Look around this tent. Look at the ones sitting next to you and around you. This is the team. I know you're all up for the challenges we face because, my friends, we have to do things differently than we've done before. None of us believes in maintaining the status quo, and as I've said before, we frankly can't afford it anymore. We must work as a collective if we are going to pull this province back out of its dark economic slide. And that we, I'm referring to, goes beyond this tent. In the, in the past months, I've said that there will be a chair at the table for those who share this goal, no matter their political stripe. Because these issues that we face collectively are not liberal issues. They are Newfoundland and Labrador issues. We all must set aside our differences in ideology or personal differences and pick up that rope and with the rest of us, give a hefty pull. As the pandemic continues to change and influence the way we do things, as it continues to punch our economy, our local businesses and industries, we have seen the growth of fear and anxiety and negativity across our province. Newfoundlanders and Labradorians are scared about the future. And this is we, where we all have a role to play. We all have a responsibility to the people and the place that we love so dearly. My friends, we can work together. We can dream together. We can grow together. And together, we will emerge from this crisis a stronger, more caring, more compassionate, and more diverse Newfoundland and Labrador. None of us in this tent believes there's no hope for this province. We are here because we believe in the exact opposite. We all know the potential of this place. From its industries to its culture to its never quit attitude, we know this province is a fighter. We fight for and with it, and we will fight our way back. You don't have to look long on social media or listen to the call-in shows to realize that there are skeptics out there. And I know that there are those whose faith in our political institutions has been rocked. I can't change the past. I can only stand up now and tell everyone how this government will move forward. Transparency. People will know exactly what the hard decisions are and how they will impact our province and why we are making them. And when asked a question, expect a straight up fact-based answer. By the way, sometimes that may be, I don't know the answer. No rhetoric, just reality. We will stand and be accountable for our mistakes. And more importantly, we will learn from them. And we will be judged by the difference we all make. So my friends, let's begin. Let's all commit to being part of the push. None of us are afraid of hard work. We all earned our place here today. But that only means that we must be responsible and respect what we have been entrusted to do by the people of this beautiful place that we love. No one singularly achieves success. Together, we can build, rebuild, reimagine, and redefine our province. Together, we will all work towards a Newfoundland and Labrador we all want by starting with the one that we have here today. This is the team to do it. So let's get down to some hard work. Thank you very much. Thank you, Premier. 
This concludes the formal part of the ceremony and we invite you to join us for a reception in the garden just over here. Please rise as the official party departs.